So here we go. ABS light is off. Awesome. Today we're dealing with something that, something that has been a thorn in my side for a long time time now. I'm sitting here in my 95 Suburban, and as some of you owners of the GMT400 platform know, the ABS system is very finicky. When I first bought this truck, it had the ABS light on. I took it to the dealership and they fixed it and it was expensive. They had to replace something major like under the hood, so it was expensive. I want to say it was around like $1,000 or something like that. And the ABS seemed to work just fine. Every once in a while, like for example, when I was in the snow, I would hear the ABS kick on and work. But of course, one day that light came back on. So ever since, I've been kind of afraid to jump into this problem. Kind of afraid that the same thing that was the problem the first time is now the problem again. And I just didn't really want to deal with it. But I have read a lot of comments on my videos whenever someone would see that I had the ABS light on saying pretty much, hey, you need to fix your ABS light. It's probably something simple like a wheel speed sensor. But of course, because of the history I have with this truck and the ABS, I kind of just brushed it off and went, no, it's got to be the same thing that it was before. And this is going to cost me a lot of money. So I just dealt with it for a long time. But Oh, I hate staring at a light on in the dash, whether it's a check engine light, or in this case, the ABS light, or both. So I finally decided to order new ABS wheel speed sensors, original equipment, AC Delco from Amazon. And here they are. We have two of them, one for the front driver and front passenger side. And this is what they look like, just a simple plug and play sensor. And here is that actual sensor. This part screws into the hub. The other end is just a simple plug. Even though those ABS sensors are fairly simple, it is kind of an involved process to get to them. So if you haven't done a full diagnosis to find out what the problem is, it might really suck to buy the new sensors, install them, only to find out that you still have an ABS light on and that wasn't the actual problem. But for me, there is a solution to that. I can see just under the wheel well here exactly where that ABS sensor plug is. And being that I have access to that plug, I can simply unplug the current wheel speed sensor and plug in a new one and turn the key back on into the run position and check if that ABS light goes away. So let's do that now one side at a time. Okay, because I have such good access to the plug end of the sensor, I can simply unplug this this plug, then I'll take my brand new sensor and plug this one in. Okay, now you can see I have my new sensor plugged in and it's just loosely hanging here, not installed whatsoever, just plugged in so that we can turn on the key and test if that old sensor was bad. All right, I have a 50-50 shot here if it even is a wheel sensor, that it was the passenger side. So let me show you the dash when I turn the key on. Okay, here we go. Anti-lock. Okay, so the light persists, it's still on. So maybe if it is a wheel speed sensor, it's the driver's side. So let's go ahead and do the same thing to that side. Okay, here we are on the driver's side and you can see I have the new sensor hooked up. And of course it is just dangling here because we are just testing the system before we go ahead and install these new sensors. All right, this is the moment of truth. Both of these sensors are now hooked up and just dangling there. I'm gonna turn the key on and we're gonna see if that ABS sensor light goes out. Okay, here we go. ABS light, out, out, out. No way, the light is out. It's not turning back on, which means you know what that means. The problem has been fixed. It was just a wheel speed sensor. Now, I don't know if it was the passenger side or the driver side or maybe both of them. And so therefore I had to replace both of them for this light to go out. But either way, they were fairly cheap. I wanna say around $30 a piece, bought them on Amazon, link below. But guys, this is what I'm talking about. Break out that parts cannon and start firing, man. These are cheap parts and we can install them sometimes by ourselves. <laughs> now that I have the wheel off, I have to remove the brake caliper and the rotor. I have the two caliper bolts loose and I'm just gonna slide this caliper out. Just like that. Next, I'll grab the rotor here and slide this thing off. 
Okay, taking a look at the big picture here, we can see here is the wheel speed sensor. And unfortunately, this sensor goes down behind this dust shield. And the only way to get to it is to remove this dust shield. And the only way to do that is to remove everything I just removed. And then we're gonna use these holes here to get to the nuts that hold on this dust shield. I have my ratchet here with a 15 millimeter deep socket. I'll slide it through the hole and onto this bolt head. Now that my ratchet is attached, I can go ahead and remove this bolt. <sighs> <sighs> okay. <sighs> Okay, I thought I was gonna be able to get this with my 3 8 inch ratchet, but it is just too tight. So I'm gonna move up to my half inch and hopefully I can get it then. Okay, here we go. <sighs> mm. Yep, wow. That was a tight one but it's supposed to be because it's holding the hub on. This top bolt is now removed, but the bottom one is just loosened. So now I can take this dust shield and simply slide it out of the way. And now you can see our culprit. That is the original wheel speed sensor from when this truck was built. And I'm happy to say that today it's being changed out and I'm regaining use of my anti-lock brake system. I have my five millimeter Allen key here and we will go ahead and turn this thing and loosen it up. There we go. Wow. And there is that old wheel speed sensor. And it looks fairly dirty. And it may just be the problem is that this thing is extremely dirty, but like I said, it is original to the truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. All right, there is the new sensor on top and the old sensor on the bottom there. Looking down the hole where the sensor goes, you can see there's a set of gears and this sensor reads those gears as they pass by. So it's very possible that these were simply dirty, but I think that the sensor was actually bad. Being that I plugged in the new sensors and the ABS light went off, that tells me that the sensors themselves are actually bad. In any case, I'm glad to bust out the parts cannon again and replace these 25 year old sensors. On this new sensor, there is a little brown gasket there and I did apply some grease. And to Install, I'm simply going to slide the new sensor into position. Now that is fully seated and all I have to do is replace that screw. Well, I just finished both sides. The driver's side, I timed myself, took 39 minutes total. And that's with me being extra careful going over my work more than twice. So I suppose if you were cruising along and just wanted to get the job done quickly, It'd probably take you about 30, 35 minutes on each side. Overall, I'd say it's a very simple job. There's just a couple of big things you gotta do, like jack up the truck, take off the tire, take off the brake caliper and the rotor. Then you gotta take one of the big bolts out of the hub, loosen another one, pull that dust shield back, and then you can swap out those sensors. So now I'm gonna jump back in the truck, start it up, and make sure that that ABS light is off. So here we go. ABS light is off. Awesome. No check engine light or ABS light. This is a rare occurrence for a GMT 400. I can't believe it's taken me so long to realize that it could just be what you guys were saying, a simple sensor swap. I did the sensor swap and it's fixed. And most importantly, I now have fully functional anti-lock brakes. At least I think I do. I just had a chance to drive my truck all around. I've been in stop and go traffic driving somewhat fast, somewhat slow, but definitely plenty of brake usage. And the ABS light has not come back on. So I'm happy to report that the truck's ABS is fixed just by changing those two sensors. You don't know how happy this makes me to not see a light on in my dash. Yes. Well, I certainly hope this video helped you. If anything, I hope it was entertaining for you. If you've stuck around this long, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And also, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. And also, real quick, I wanted to show you something that I've been working on. This is the first of many wallpapers for your cell phone. You can see this one here is of my 95 GMC Suburban, the very truck I'm sitting in now. This isn't just a simple picture that I'm using. I've done a lot of work to this to make sure that it fits a phone screen really well. The actual file is high resolution and very tall so you can adjust it as needed to your phone. My phone of course is the iPhone 12 Pro and it fits perfectly. And here's what it looks like on your home screen. 
And this is available for download now at my Teespring store, and I'll put a link down in the description below. All right, guys, well, I am Jimmy for One Road, and I will see you in the next one.